The Laura N. Rinaldi Pro Bono Lawyer of the Year Award recognizes a lawyer who sets a standard of excellence and achievement in providing legal services to the district's low-income or otherwise disadvantaged individuals or the organizations that serve them. The 2022 Pro Bono Lawyer of the Year is Cassandra Rasmussen, a former associate at King & Spaulding. While she was at King & Spaulding on behalf of drug and medical device companies, Cassandra Rasmussen volunteered more than 480 pro bono hours last year. She has successfully represented district residents in pro bono matters involving social security disability benefits, asylum, child custody, and civil protective orders. She has teamed up with the DC Bar Pro Bono Center, the DC Volunteer Lawyers Project, and the National Center for Lesbian Rights. At the DC Volunteer Lawyers Project, through her compassionate, trauma-informed advocacy, Rasmussen has dedicated 415 hours of service over the past four years to representing domestic violence survivors in trials, advising helpline callers, and empowering survivors to represent themselves. I am beyond humbled to be receiving the Laura N. Rinaldi Pro Bono Lawyer of the Year Award from the DC Bar, and I am so grateful for the many opportunities I have had to be a part of pro bono work. I'm grateful to King & Spaulding and their wonderful, wonderful pro bono program. I'm so grateful for the mentorship and guidance of the wonderful staff and attorneys at the DC Volunteer Lawyers Project, the National Center for Lesbian Rights, and of course, the Pro Bono Advocacy and Justice Clinic. My final thank you goes to my clients for letting me be a part of their stories. Congratulations to Cassandra Rasmussen. The 2022 Pro Bono Law Firm of the Year is Skadden, Arps, Slate, Meager, and Flom. Skadden's Washington, D.C. office continues its long tradition of devoting thousands of pro bono hours to helping the neediest residents of the District of Columbia. 87% of the firm's D.C. lawyers worked on a wide variety of pro bono projects, devoting more than 36,000 hours, or more than 9% of their billable time, to serving the community. In addition to representing many D.C. residents in landlord-tenant, family law, and domestic violence matters, Skadden lawyers provided representation in seven 70 immigration cases and helped 10 DC prisoners file for compassionate release. A team of Skadden litigators worked with the ACLU and the Washington Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights and Urban Affairs to file a complaint on behalf of peaceful protesters arrested during demonstrations against racially unjust policing. The firm also continued to fulfill its long-standing commitment to the DC Bar Pro Bono Center's Landlord Tenant Resource Center throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, seamlessly transitioning to virtual assistance. Thank you so much, DC Bar, for this award. We are thrilled um, to receive it, and we've had a long-standing partnership with the Bar Pro Bono Center, and we look forward to uh, continuing that partnership in the future and doing great things with you. We are so excited, honored, and humbled by the DC Bar Award this year, and I just want to thank the center as well as all of our attorneys, staff, and, and everybody at the firm who's contributed to this success. I think the recognition is awesome, not just because our attorneys and staff work so hard on these um, various pro bono matters, but getting an award like this tells me that the work that our folks did really made a difference and really helped people. And at the end of the day, I think that's what it's all about. And so for me, that's the most rewarding aspect. Congratulations to Skadden, Arps, Slate, Meager, and Flom.